Welcome to the third part of my four part tutorial on how to create a model wicked animated and import it into Blender. We will start with animation. So here we have our complete rigged spear and the next thing we will do is just to make an animation. So <clears throat> what we will start to do is um, to make sure we have the right view. So here we have this timeline and um, we will set this to zero and the end to 25. <clears throat> so this is a time frame we are animating in. You can just um, drag and drop those edges of this view to create a new view. If you want to delete a view, just mark this edge here, pull it down and then it's gone in any direction that you want. So, but we need two. So I, I like to have two when I animate. One is a timeline and the second one um, is an actual action editor. So <laughs> make sure you're uh, selecting the action editor like I did here. And then we create a new action. And for that, uh, we will click on new. So um, this is how you can um, play the animation. We will set this to zero, just to make sure that we will start from the very beginning. Um, we will look at the beer to the side. Here is the record button. You can uh, automatically record your keyframes as soon as the record button is um, hit. So, and as soon as you move anything in the pose mode, it will automatically create keyframes. For example, I will move it here and you see, um, there is a key inserted in the action editor. <clears throat> so now I can take all these things and just move it as the beer is walking. So I take the font, font, um, so the left hand and the right hand, or the left arm and the right arm and put it in this position. I think it's pretty good. I will take the uh, white leg and put it in this position and the rest I will leave it here for now. So and now we can move on. Um, for example five frames and now <clears throat> I will reset the animation by um, holding Alt and press R and G. We will move this forward or maybe here. I think this is the next point we will have to animate. So this leg goes here because the beer is moving forward. And this one we just move it to the front. So the animation will be um, will be four frames. So now we can see the the intermediate frames will be calculated by the keys. Um, now we see one key is missing, but we can just select this uh, thing. Okay, it's not moving. Uh, just press Alt R, Alt G, and then you see um, the intermediate frames are calculated. I will set it to 10 now to get the next frame. And basically we will repeat this. So this one will be there. This one goes to the back. Um, I will select this one and just reset it. And this one will be in the past post. This is how it's called in the animation. And we will move on to the next one. And we will do the same thing again. This one goes to the front. This one goes to the back. Ah, come on. This one goes in past post. This one we will do that. So. And now I can uh, copy uh, one of these frames. I can select them, as you can see, with the right click. Um, and I can duplicate it uh, and grab it. In the same way I can do it in the editor view. I just press Shift D to duplicate it, move it to frame 20 and set the frames to 20. So this is the end. And now we can see our beer is moving. Yeah, I don't like this the stop that's ongoing there. Um, 
this is not what we want. So I click on channel and just um, on this exploration mode and set it to uh, constant. So now it's a little better because the keyframes are constantly um, moving or the things are moving in a constant velocity. But now I think I have some of the frames that should be gone. So I start from 1 to 90. Oh, this is looking good. So I take out a few frames. So, um, but I will start at 0 and I will end at 18. And I think if I remove two frames, oh, <coughs> yeah, you can place backwards as well. But if I remove those two, it's a way more smooth. So this is the first action we create. I think it's good. Uh, maybe we move the head a little bit because um, you, it normally every part of a body is moving if you're walking. Yeah, the the whole part is going up and down. The head it, head is moving up and down. And um, if you animate those things, keep in mind to move everything, even a little bit. Then it's more alive. You see, the beer is. Um, more alive as soon as the neck and the head is moving. So we will take the wood node and uh, move it up a little bit and move it down a little bit because then it's just a little bit more realistic and uh, it looks way better. Okay. I'll do it. Let's have a look. Yes. So everything is moving and this is how the real world is working as well. So um, he looks alive, he is looking like a real moving beer and we will rename um, this action to walk. We can press this F so that it won't uh, go away as soon as we don't reference it anywhere. Um, you don't have to do this but um, sometimes it works because you just create too much actions and some you want to get rid of. So go to the NLA editor and then you can push this action to all the available actions of the beer. This is very important for import. Um, we will see all the pushed actions then in Unity. Um, just rename the NLA action and then we can go back to this view, the action editor, create a new action and uh, just call it look or something like that. We want to have a action where the head is moving of the beer. We will get, we'll go back to zero. We will reset the complete beer. And um, yeah. Maybe we will just go to the tense frame and we will shake the head a little bit. Move the, Go to the up view with the number pad 7 and with um, R you can rotate. Go to the frame 20 and do it the other way around. And to have a smooth loop you always have to match the first and the last frame. So you can copy the first one or just reset everything like I did before. Now this looks good. Yeah, you can see um, all the keys are created. I can delete everything that I don't need. I just let the head and the neck working here. Oh, okay. I, it will take the animation from the other then, um, from the other action. So let's just undo it. Press Alt R because we are automatically recording those um, points will be created. Push it to the NLA stack, then it look. Go back to the dope sheet and the action editor. Now we have a look and we have a walk action. And this is all we need right now. I can save this file and we're done with the animation. So let's go to the next part. Um, the export. 
Now we will uh, select the mesh and the beer because these are the two parts we want to export. We don't want to export the camera, the lighting, the spheres and so on. Only these two objects and we will um, export the, these two because we select them. Now you go to the folder where you want to drop the FBX file. Um, I went here by using file, F export and then X, FBS. In the main view, uh, in the animation view, leave everything as it is. I think the uh, standard um, and default configuration is quite good. The amateur should look should look like this. The geometry should look like this. And here we have to adjust a few things, like um, do not export everything. We only need to uh, export the amateur and the mesh. So um, just click. The amateur holding uh, control and or, um, holding shift and select those two and we are good to go okay i will save this okay and that's all you need to know now we can go to unity and import it make sure that everything is zero here and zero there uh, otherwise press alt a and apply rotation and scale and till next time.